a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Operation Truong Kong Ding Operation Truong Kong Ding was a United States and Army of the Republic of Vietnam security operation to re-establish South Vietnamese control over the northern Mekong Delta in the aftermath of the Tet Offensive. The operation aimed to root out Viet Cong forces in the area, and, to stop them from attacking traffic on the nearby Highway 4. The operation started on 7 March 1968 and lasted until August 1968, involving the 1st and 2nd Brigades of the U.S. 9th Infantry Division and the ARVN 7th Division backed by South Vietnamese regional forces. Operations were supported by an American artillery battalion, which established a fire support base on the north bank of the Mai Thomas River, and the Mobile Riverine Force which conducted a series of riverine and airmobile operations. Background Tiong Ding was a 19th-century Mandarin who served under Emperor Tiu Duc of the Win Dynasty and operated in the Mekong Delta. He gained fame after the initial French invasion of southern Vietnam in the late 1850s for leading nationalist resistance fighters, and was well known for his guerrilla attacks on French units along the waterways of the Mekong Delta. In 1862, faced with serious internal rebellions in other parts of the country, Tiu Duc decided to cede three southern provinces to become the French colony of Cochin China so that he could focus on putting down internal revolts. Tiong became more iconic after this for his condemnation of the session and his defiance of the emperor in continuing to fight. During the Tet Offensive, ARVN and regional and popular force units responsible for security in the Delta had been called into the region's towns and cities to repulse VC attacks. Following their defeat in the Tet Offensive, most VC battalions split into smaller groups to evade detection. In addition to keeping the remaining VC away from the town and cities, the Allied forces sought to re-establish South Vietnamese control over villages that had been occupied by the VC during Tet and extend their reach into areas long held by the VC. The 1st Brigade, 9th Infantry Division was reconfigured as light infantry for closer operations with the MRF and the 7th Squadron. 17th Cavalry Regiment moved from 3 Corps to 4 Corps to provide additional aerial support. The objective of Operation Truong Kong Ding was to destroy communist forces in Ding Duong province and to reduce the communist threat west of Mai To, which focused on harassing traffic on Highway 4. Operation The operation started on 7 March 1968, and involved elements of the 1st and 2nd Brigades of the U.S. 9th Infantry Division, and the ARVN 7th Division, backed by regional forces. This was the first time that the commanding general of the 9th Infantry Division was able to use the 2nd Brigade in a continuing coordinated role with another brigade. The Mobile Riverine Force conducted a series of combined riverine and airmobile operations, beginning east of Mai Thomas operations were supported by the 3rd Battalion, 34th Artillery of the U.S., which established a fire support base on the north bank of the Mai Thomas River, 16 kilometers east of the city. During initial airmobile assaults on 7 March, VC resistance was light and no major firefight resulted. During the afternoon, the two battalions shifted their area of operations west-northwest of Maito in response to intelligence reports. At 1920 the U.S. 4th Battalion, 47th Infantry came under heavy small arms and automatic weapons fire just west of Mai Thomas. This continued until 2225. The following day Allied troops met no VC in the area. In response to new intelligence the two battalions moved again, at noon into the area of operations of early 7 the March. There were several firefights during the rest of the day. The most significant occurred at 1715 when Company B, 447th Infantry, made an assault landing by helicopter and was fired upon by a VC force from well-entrenched positions along the southern edge of the landing zone. Five helicopters were brought down during the first landing, throughout the evening and into the night, as other elements of the two battalions maneuvered in support of Company B. There was sporadically heavy fighting in the area. At three o'clock the fire support base was attacked by mortars, sinking two artillery barges carrying four 105mm howitzers. The 447th Infantry continued their sweep of the previous day's battlefield without finding any VC and returned by armored troop carriers to the Mobile Riverine base at Tong in the late afternoon. 
On March 10 the MRF shifted operations to near the towns of Kailei and Longding in Dingjuang province. Troops of the 1st and 2nd Brigades of the 9th U.S. Infantry Division conducted day and night patrolling and reconnaissance against suspected VC locations along Highway 4 until March 16, when the 1st Brigade was withdrawn. On March 18, boats of U.S. River Division 92 received heavy automatic weapons and rocket fire from the VC while patrolling west of Dongdan. The rockets damaged several assault support patrol boats and one monitor. The operation continued without opposition the next day, and the infantry battalions returned by ATC to the Mobile River Rhine base near Dongtan. On the 22nd of March the MRF floating base, still located in the Mai Thomas River south of Dongtan, was attacked at 3.20 by communist forces using mortars and recoilless rifles. The received two 75mm recoilless rifle hits that caused minor damage and near misses were registered by VC mortars on a landing ship tank. The, for the rest of March the MRF continued operations in Dingduong province with occasional light to moderate firefights. On 1 April the US, 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment left and assumed the Dong Tam security mission and was replaced in the MRF by the 347th Infantry. In late March and early April a 4th 47th Infantry and 360th Infantry ranged across the Northern Delta locating and destroying numerous bunkers, but killing only small numbers of VC who appeared to have withdrawn into base areas in western Dingduong province. By the 2nd of April VC losses in the operation were 150 killed and 14 captured. In mid-April, the 3rd and 4th Battalions, 47th Infantry Regiment moved into northern Qianhua province to sweep the area around Ben Tre. The VC generally avoided combat unless cornered. But on 17 April the 2nd Battalions killed 90 VC while losing 5 US at the end of April. 343 VC had been killed in the operation while US losses were 51 killed. During the operation, the MRF used extensively a River Rhine assault reconnaissance element. A small unit first employed in December 1967 that consisted of three or four monitors and several assault support patrol boats, the River Rhine assault reconnaissance element led ATC convoys and employed reconnaissance by fire against likely VC ambush positions. According to the U.S. military, the technique reduced casualties because of the firepower and mobility of the craft in the River Rhine assault reconnaissance element and the placement of ATCs carrying infantry in the rear of the column. Air mobility was used during the operation to increase the flexibility of the MRF by providing increased intelligence, firepower, and escort coverage for convoys during troop movement. Aftermath the operation was regarded as a success, because the VC no longer threatened the towns and cities, and had been pushed back into their sanctuaries allowing the South Vietnamese to re-establish control over the countryside and begin pacification and reconstruction. The operation continued until August when it was succeeded by Operation Quechien. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?